multidimensional arrays are very similar to one-dimensional arrays. For 2D arrays specifically, each array element has a row and column address. So in this case, A is a 2 by 4 array. It has two rows and four columns, or eight total elements. You can access the data that's stored in a particular element by referring to the row column address. So the value stored in the first element, second row of A is 7, the value stored at the second row, fourth column of A is negative 8. You can change the value stored at a particular, uh, of a particular element by assigning it a new value. So in this example here at the bottom, we're going to go to the second row, second column, which formerly held 3, and we're going to assign the value 100 to it. You can enter data into an array element by element. So if we had a 2 by 4 array, you would need to issue 8 commands to fill up each element in the array. Uh, alternatively, you can enter data all at once. You can use a semicolon to separate rows or use the return key. So in this example here, we're going to fill the first row in with negative 9, 7, 7, 0. The semicolon means we're going to go down to the second row. And we fill in in the second row 4, 3, 7, negative 8. Alternatively, we could have done this, where we say negative 9, 7, 7, 0, hit the return key, and because there's no end bracket, MATLAB and Octave know to wait. So then we can enter in the values for the next row, 4, 3, 7, negative 8, end bracket, and if we hit return again, the command will be issued, and all the values will be put into the array. So let's create an array. Let's call it B, and we will make it a 3x4 array, 3 rows, 4 columns. So we'll put 1, 3, 5, 7 in the first row, 7, 8, 2, and 1 in the second row, and then 9, 0, 0, 9 in the last row. And now we hit enter. By typing whose, we can look at the size of B, and we see it is indeed a 3 by 4. Let's say we want to change the element in the third row, third column, which is 0. We can say b 3 comma 3 is equal to, let's say b 1 1, the element in the first row, first column, which is has a value of 1, and we add to it b 1 comma 2, the value in the first row second column which is 3. So 1 plus 3 is 4 and that's indeed what gets stored in this array element. Just like with 1D arrays if you try to access an array element outside of the current array size for example B1 comma 5 first row fifth column which does not exist, you will get an error message.